We all have a responsibility to make sure the college remains a safe, enjoyable and professional environment for everyone. Part of that responsibility includes how we behave. There are rules and regulations in place to make sure we all take that responsibility seriously. There are disciplinary procedures in place for those who do not behave according to these rules, as well as reward systems for those who do. <coughs> Video 3. Discipline Procedures We have a staged disciplinary process at the college. It is designed to identify and offer support through any problems students might be facing regarding the rules and regulations. Here's how the first four stages of the disciplinary process will be recorded. An SD1 is managed and recorded by teaching staff and tutors. An SD2 is a written warning that is sent home to your parents. An SD3 is a final written warning also sent home to your parents. And an SD4 is a suspension, followed by a disciplinary hearing which may lead to exclusion from college. Teaching staff will issue a Stage 1 disciplinary for incidents or behaviour such as poor attendance or punctuality, disruptive behaviour, or non-compliance with tasks and deadlines. The following are some examples of serious incidents that will be reported directly to a senior member of staff within your directorate and may then be referred to Steve Brady, the Assistant Principal for Student Services, and the Safeguarding Team, if appropriate. These examples include alcohol abuse, <coughs> substance misuse, <coughs> violent conduct, <coughs> or inappropriate usage of social media and harassment through cyberbullying. Hmm. This type of behaviour is considered harmful to the college community and so, for everyone's benefit, will not be tolerated. Every student will have the chance and support to improve their behaviour through consultation with personal tutors, parents and student services. If there is no improvement, the last resort may be to exclude that student. The college offers support to every student, but we all need to be responsible for our own behaviour. It is important for everyone to understand the disciplinary process and access support in the unlikely event you find yourself in a difficult situation. Security, safeguarding and the disciplinary framework are part of our whole system to help keep staff and students safe.